Hello Zebrahurd! There are some brand new TMNT themed bundles in the Fall Guys store and today we're taking a look at the Mutant Masters bundle. This bundle features Splinter and Superfly, so let's go check it out. So here is our brand new bundle that we'll be checking out today, the Mutant Masters, Ninjutsu Master or Dastardly Villain. Splinter and Superfly are ready for action. So of course, these sort of take the art style of the most recent movie and put it into the game. We have Master Splinter here with like the vest and everything. I really do like the art style of Splinter. You can see the bottom piece right here. And then Superfly, so cool. So we'll go ahead and start showcasing, I think, Splinter first. Superfly later, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So here is the full Master Splinter costume. When it's all together, it looks really cool. I just, Master Splinter is one of my favorite characters from TMNT, so to see him here is really nice. And you can see that there's a lot of daily and weekly quests, as well as like some of the Discover quests going on. We have a Seasons Yeetings event, where we need to, of course, play some rounds, do summon parties, all sorts of stuff going on, but we will start it very simply by just doing, I guess, a solo show with the fall further, then we'll maybe check out some of this other stuff for sure. But Right now, a solo show with Master Splinter sounds like the best thing we can do. Ooh, our first round is going to be Lily Leapers. Honestly, haven't been running into this one too often, so let's see if Splinter can handle it. You know, Splinter has some pretty crazy uh, ninja moves, so you never know. All right, let's go for it. I will jump over here. Whoa. Oh no. Oh, I'm bumping into some people, but somehow we got a decent recovery. There we go. Let's try to build up some speed a little bit as we head ooh, over here. I don't need to have the fastest time. I just need to be able to have a good enough time to qualify, right? Which we are definitely on the way to that. Whoa. Whoa. Got it. Okay. I think we're in the lead at the moment. I'm very focused in. It's working out pretty well. There we go. That was a really excellent Lily Leapers. There was no like significant moment where I just fell to my doom. So I'll take that. Really nice first round for today. All right, time to run. Let's see how this one goes for us. I think we'll be able to keep up just fine if anything is to you know be expected from that Lily Leapers round. But I guess we'll find out in just a moment. This is definitely a very seasonal round for us right now. We're not too far away from, you know, all the holidays. I guess this, but they might be coming out after most of them happen, but I'm recording them before, so it's all exciting and, and relevant to me. All right, I'll turn over here as much as I can. There we go, whoa, whoa, whoa. This part can get a little weird with the timing, but that wasn't so bad. I've stolen the lead with it again, awesome. I will dive right about there, that was too far. At least I thought it was. Somebody actually made it all the way through with that. Very impressive. I don't think I've ever seen that done before. So I don't know if we'll be able to catch up for a first place finish, but maybe I can at least, oh no. Uh, snag a second, yeah, they just barely made it through. Second place is still pretty darn good. I will take it. Ooh, this one could make things change for the worse. We'll see. We got a first place and a second place, but how are things gonna go for fruit shooting? I hope I can make it. We'll try our best here. Definitely, if there's a hammer, I like to go for it if I can. And boom, ooh, not bad. Definitely a good throw forward from the hammer. Other players are falling and we get knocked over by an apple. We need to be top 12, which usually isn't so bad. Usually it's like top eight or something crazy like that. So I think top 12 is pretty doable, especially with how far along we are. If we don't get yeah, just knocked over by a fruit or the log, we're good to go. That'll be a second place finish again. I'm pretty happy with that one. All right, looks like we are chasing down some penguins here. Let's see if I can't maybe grab this one over this way. Oh, I almost got you. I almost got you. You get over here. You get over here. Oh no, that's me. I'm not a penguin. I'm a rat. Okay, here we go. <laughs> run, Splinter, run. Oh, you're trying to chase me. I might just go back down this way then. That's working pretty well. Then I'll go back up here, just like that. Nobody usually goes over this way, so maybe I can just chill over here, and I'm just gonna wait until somebody actually spots me and tries to chase me, which might not even happen. We can just chill over here. I don't know if we'll get first place. We're about to find out. Oh, not quite. Are we yet again gonna get a second place finish? Three second places in a row, that's not so bad. 
Ooh, okay. So, let's see how things go here on our final round while we are surviving on the ice. It's nice and chilly up here. Let's try to stay up here though and not fall down into the, the, the goo below. Do you think the goo's even colder or do you think it's warmer? It's, I mean, it's being chilled in all that ice, so who knows? Whoa. We got seven people we need to survive against here. One of them already falling off. It'd be very cool to win this. Very cool, very, very cold. <laughs> very cool to win this first show of today as Splinter. We'll have to wait and see if that's actually gonna be the case. This is one of those ones where anything can sort of happen at any moment when it comes to getting eliminated. So I'm just trying to stay away from most players. Whoa. I do see a lot of tiles over here that I can like use up a little bit, but I gotta be careful of that. I don't like it, I don't appreciate it, leave me alone. <laughs> Luckily we use some ninja rat moves there as a way to get away from all of that nonsense. More people being eliminated. I'm gonna get over here. Please leave me alone. Oh, ah, uh, run away, run away. Okay, I'm sorta of kinda of safe over here. Now I'm not, because you're getting rid of all of these tiles. Uh oh, guys, uh, oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't get enough speed out of that, so I fell to my doom. Unfortunately, not gonna win this one. There's two other players, three other players here, so yeah, not gonna get the victory here. That's okay, though. Definitely not the end of the world. As you can see, we get a bunch of points. Anyways, 15,000 fame pass points to start today off is definitely really good. Then we get 16,000 in total, actually. So we're gonna jump up a couple levels in our current fame pass. It's always fun to see. All right, that actually pretty good overall. Definitely not gonna complain about that one, but as you can see, there's even more daily quests we can do if we want. With the next one, I think, let's keep it thematic. We got Winter Wonders. Grab your woolly hat and gloves for this frosty festive creative show. Let's go for it. All right, our first round of this festive show will be Digi Snow Stumble. So these are all creative rounds that people have made that I guess are just, you know, wintry themed. It looks like somebody squeezed through the middle there, maybe? Huh, interesting. Some people opting to jump down that way. I'm going to keep moving in this direction and see if it helps me. Oh, the fans though, they're trying to blow us away. What if I like jumped into the corner like that? Ooh, that's not such a bad idea, I guess. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. The fans are blowing me back. I guess they don't sit there forever. The wall blocks them off after a while. Ooh, let's go up here. That looks like it could be fun. Oh, grab the ledge. Not so bad. And then I'm supposed to... Oh, 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 okay, I see, I see. I thought I was supposed to, oh, that hurt. I thought I was supposed to like have them launch me from one to the other. Instead, it's it's sort of the opposite. Um, Let's hope that I timed this well. Oh no, oh no. Okay, scary, very scary. We need to be top 15 to qualify here, so I have a lot to catch up to. I need to go, 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 and then, oh no. Okay, diving into that, not the best idea. One player has now qualified, so we will just try to be another player that qualifies. We get to another checkpoint, which is nice. But as we're rushing through this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Master Splinter costume so far out of this bundle? It looks like we're about to get, boom, seventh place, we're able to qualify for round two. Round two is Mountain of Ice. Oh, I love all the fresh ideas here. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? We're sort of, okay, whoa, the slippery little parts there. I gotta be careful of that. I don't know if that was really the best situation for us. I didn't see those when I boosted through, but I love all the fresh ideas that we run into here with the creative mode rounds. Always super fun. Let's see if we can't catch up a little bit here. So it's icy, it's slippery because of that. It's really, really dangerous. Players are getting launched all over the place. Oh, can you just go down on the ground over there? I guess so, but maybe it's not the fastest thing. Oh no, so please don't get pushed off. Uh, but yeah, so far I really like the Master Splinter costume. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Where are we getting pushed up to, though, is the question. Over to here. Excellent. Okay, definitely not first place, but we're up there. And that's pretty good. I'll definitely try to run over in this direction. I think I want to wait for this. I don't trust it. Okay. Ooh, that could have been me just getting launched. I wasn't careful. Okay, so I will try to just get through this a little bit. Oh, there we go. One way or another. Then we can jump through all of this, just like that. Whoa, all right. So far, so good. Gonna try to dive up there, that didn't work. Oh well, ready, boom. Keep it going, keep it going. Gotta be careful, that one just barely dodging it in time. We're catching up to you. Oh no, oh, the thrusters. My least favorite thing. Ow, okay, wait, 
Yeah, try to squeeze in over here. I don't think this works out so well. Come on, come on. And then, I guess with this one, at least, no, I was gonna say, at least we don't get blown off because of the wall. We do still get blown off. I'm just gonna fall off. And that's probably the most efficient thing I can do there. I guess we could maybe bounce off that cloud and get up that way. I didn't realize how far this was gonna set me back. Oh no, they get knocked them over. So sorry. This is a tough level so far to get to the top, then I'll have to be really careful with the thruster this time. Got it. All right, speed boost, here we go. Jumping through all this as much as possible. Not a single player has qualified yet. It makes me think, how much of this level is left? It might be a while still. Okay, ready and boom, getting up here. Then I will just try to zoom through as much as I can. I have to get over here. Oh, okay, I'm still moving. Still going pretty quick. Ah, okay, not good. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, so scary. One player has now made it through. So what I'm terrified of is this thruster because it's a little bit on the fast side, but we made it through. We made it through. That's good. What's next though? Oh, man. Uh, Gotta move with it, gotta move with it. And then right here, ooh, not bad actually, I think, yeah, there we go. Where are there? There's no checkpoints here, it's crazy. Okay, ooh, got it, got it, got it. I hear it. you have some players behind us, which is fine with me. Okay, gotta wait for one more. They're catching up to me. Oh no, there's one more after this. I don't wanna risk it. Oh, five seconds, five seconds, no way! I'm in the middle of something here, no! Oh, that stinks, nobody made it. I think one player did? That was a tough one. Oh well, I guess I win the whole show because of that. Maybe we'll try some different kind of shows for now and we'll come back to that one later, but that was just an unfortunate round too. Nobody could make it through, but um, yeah, that was still a pretty fun level for sure. Just a really long one, super tough. Probably could use a couple more checkpoints or something, but we are going to keep moving. But instead of using Master Splinter, I think we'll move over to our next costume now, which should be um, Superfly. So let me go ahead and equip that one. So here is the Superfly costume. Looks just like it did out of the film. So many details to this one from the hair, the wings, just it has that sort of almost hand-painted art style to it too. Really cool looking costume. I definitely like it with the big claw and everything too. I think what we'll do is we'll maybe try like a squad scramble or something like this. This one refreshes journey as a team and uncover the most popular creative rounds together. We'll do one of these and then maybe we'll just do a full on squad show. Whoa, so let's see what's going on with this one. I do not know how to pronounce it, but it looks like, of course, another creative run for us to get through. Our squad is ready to go. Whoa, I did not get bounced up very high from that one. Okay, we're all landing on each other, which is not helping me too much. Oh, come on. Ready, one more time. There we go. I guess I'm supposed to come down here? Whoa, whoa, what did I just do? I don't know. These are super tiny platforms. Okay, ready, and jump. That wasn't so bad. And then I guess I can, okay, I was expecting that to push me up. The one time the thruster doesn't push me up. So weird. Uh, whoa. Got it. This is a crazy level. Just at the least aesthetically, it's pretty neat. Okay, got it. Just gonna keep going this way. If we keep it safe, that's fine with me. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, okay, hold on. Oh man, that was close. One of the teammates on our squad has already given up, so it's up to the, uh, the rest of us three to make our way through. So far, I'm doing it. Okay, job, we're almost at the finish line. Nobody else has seemed to make it, so I think yeah, that'll be the golden trophy for me. First place, the most points so far out of our squad. Um, Pretty cool, so hopefully we can stay in first place. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, and after enough time, we finally get the victory. So Superfly skating around here. So cool, I'm glad we got to see the victory. Very cool. Ah, and into the water we go. So I don't know if we got to see that victory event last episode when we unlocked it for the um, current winter blunder event, whatever it's called. We'll get 11,100 fame pass points there, and then with the gold medal, gets to 11,500, not too bad. We get 1,200 kudos in total. Get the level 20 where we get the refined color. We're definitely getting a lot of rewards stacked up there, which is fantastic to see, as well as an additional crown. So we're getting lots of goodies today. Always glad to see it, but we're not quite done. That was a pretty quick round, so I think we'll go 
Hmm, there's a lot of options right now. There's thin ice trials, but I might wanna do a full show. So maybe we'll try a squad show normal, and then we'll do some different stuff from there. All right, so our first round of this squad show is gonna be Tundra Run once more. We did pretty well here last time, so let's see if we can't get running and get another good finish. Hopefully our full squad will stick around to the very end and we can get ourselves a full squad win. That'd be amazing, but we'll have to wait and see. Right now though, I'm really happy to see, of course, like I was asking before, more TMNT costumes in the shop. I think when I originally showcased the first, you know, turtle bundles um, that came to the shop when the movie released earlier this year. I was really hoping we would see some of the characters from the film also released that weren't the main team in T cast. You know, April O'Neil, Master Splinter, Superfly were some of the ones I really wanted to see and that's exactly what got added. So really happy about that for sure. Oh no, ooh, that was a close one. Oh, and there's new launcher here. Oh no, ooh. This player just barely stole it from me, but still 38 points is pretty huge. The rest of the squad is making their way in and will be here soon enough, so I think we'll definitely make that top eight to qualify. Looks like it. Here come two more of the players. There's one, there's the other. We are in first place for points, so we just have one more player left here. I'm sure they'll make it sooner or later, so yeah, looking good. Ooh, round two is another classic. We got the speed slider. We still have opportunities. I'm sorry for the one way over there on their lonesome. But yeah, uh, to continue on the conversation from last round, these were some of the characters I definitely wanted to see. Beyond this, I guess, like, you know, the classic villains like Bebop and Rocksteady would be really cool additions. But, you know, this is sort of like a better late than never thing. It's been a little bit now since the movie released, but it's still really cool to see that it finally happened. And hopefully, over time, we'll get even more. But yeah, today is about Master Splinter and Superfly. Next episode, we'll take a look at April O'Neil. And with that, I think there's a brand new victory emote, so we'll have to see if we can win around next episode. But for right now, let's not get too carried away with it. We need to win this super slider round. We need to jump over this one right over here and then jump again. It looks like we're squared up to get a first place finish. Will that be the case? Yes, it will be. That's great, 25 more points for our squad and uh oh, I think one of our teammates left. Why does it always happen? I don't know, but if we can keep getting finishes like we just did, we can still probably make it to the final round if they stick around with us. So let's keep it moving and we'll see what ends up happening. All right, Jump Club coming up next. This one could be a little bit tricky. Unfortunately, this is the kind that could end up with us getting eliminated. We need to be top three to qualify. We're immediately falling to fourth, but if a couple of players can get eliminated and all three of us can hang on for as long as possible, we'll be okay. All right, we've gotta watch out for the fruit launcher though. Maybe not the place to hang out as we do a couple of taunts here. I do have a pretty cool set of them. I do still have this turtle shell spin, which is what we got from the TMNT bundles, so that is pretty cool to see. Oh no, hey, watch it. <laughs> okay, jump over this one. And I know that we got the Bebop and Rocksteady uh, sort of like half costumes. They weren't full costumes like these ones, but I mean, maybe at some point we'll still see that. It's a little doubtful now because of those half costumes, but you never know. But it's just still really cool because it was one of my favorite movies of this year. I'm not really a big movie, whoa, watcher kind of person. That could have been bad. I'm not a really per kind of person. Oh no, not again, not again. <laughs> That's like super into movies, but um, like not to say I dislike movies, this is I'm not the kind of person to like go to theaters all the time or constantly be catching up with the new releases, but TMNT is one of the few new movies I saw this year and I really, really liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. So to see all these characters, May throwing the Fall Guys in the theming of the new movie, I think that's pretty cool. It would be still nice to see them in the art style of the classic TMNT at some point too, but uh, for right now, this is pretty fitting, it's pretty relevant, and I like it a lot. So there we go, we're able to make our way through this with second place points, that's pretty good. We're on to the next round. Ooh, Big Shots is our next round. It's another survival, but maybe with this one, more players get launched off more quickly, so we might be able to make it. We need to be top two to qualify. It looks like we're already um, tied for a second, so that must mean that one of these other squads also only has three players. So if we can just hold on tight and dodge everything that comes flying at us, maybe we can at least secure that final round. There is still a good chance of that happening as long as we cannot survive the third team, which it looks like actually the third team might only have one player or something, because, oh no, we lost a player there. You can see they're very, very f behind in points. Um, so, unfortunately for them, it looks like we'll be able to win this one, as long as 
disaster doesn't strike super hard here in these last few moments, I don't think there's much of a way they can actually catch up. So that's really good for us. Looks like we're just gonna hang out on this side. 40 seconds remain, trying to survive here as Superfly. Whoa, watch it, watch it. We got some extra stars and controllers and magnets flying in from every direction. We still have one other teammate over there, but other players are getting knocked off pretty quickly. 25 seconds remaining on there. There goes another player. Oh boy. Yeah, we definitely have enough points. I think we're guaranteed qualification, but I'm definitely still trying to stay in the running. It would be cool to, you know, just get even farther. Uh-oh, 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 whoa, it's just me and this other player. Can I make it, can I make it? So far, yes, so far, yes. Three, two, one, and oh, we, we, we made it all the way to the end. I get the gold medal. Whoa, Jump Showdown is our final round, and this won't be like the other round where we need to earn up points. With this one, it's every player on their own, more or less. If we can make it to the end, any one of us, that will be the victory secured. So let's see what we can do. We can dance around, we can be friendly, but for now, but eventually we're gonna have to beat out at least all the other players on the other team. So, <laughs> we have that one. This is such a weird taunt. Because the sound effect is just weird. <laughs> All right, let's get over here then. Jump over that a little bit. Please be careful. Ah, whoa! I didn't even see it wiggling. Oh no, that surprised me. That made me jump. So it's all up to our one teammate. I'm so sorry. I feel like I was goofing off there. I just did not see that platform wiggling from the angle that my camera was at. So it's all up to you to survive for four minutes against three other players. That is definitely a bit scary, but I believe in you. You can do it. Ooh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Ooh, close one. So they are pretty far off from these other players. Are they gonna try to stick around here or do they wanna jump over to that side? Competition could end up being tough over there because you know they might make it in their best interest to push our one player off once they realize that crocodile ain't on their team. But if those platforms fall and this blue one stays, it'll be, ooh, a good opportunity. Oh no, but it won't, it won't. This is your chance, you gotta jump. Oh, it was a good try. I obviously can't complain about anything that happens that round because I goofed up and I'll definitely take the fall for that one. But I think that our teammates had a really good attempt there. That was definitely a good try by the, the crocodile player. So yeah, it's, it's tough for sure. It's one of the tougher final rounds in my opinion. We don't quite make it to the end. Um, the very, very end to get a victory, but we do get to the final round. Two silvers, two golds, that's pretty good. All right, so that was some decent rewards. I wanna see what else we need to do for our daily quests. It looks like we just need to play two more shows. So I say, we keep it simple. Maybe we'll try a Thin Ice Trials, and then after that, we'll just do an Unexplored Adventures. That sounds like fun. So our first round of the Thin Ice Survival, whoa, it's way bigger than normal because there's so many players. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to this side. I'm just trying to stay wherever it's safe in the meantime. And as we're trying to survive this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Superfly costume? Just like with um, Master Splinter, just all of your thoughts on this costume in total. I would love to hear all about it. I think they did a really good job at representing the characters and their art style in the movie here in the game. And the art style to the movie really reminded me a lot of the, uh, of course, the uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse fil films. So it'd be cool to see those kind of characters also make their way into Fall Guys. But uh, maybe we can talk about that more next round. Okay, a little bit less ice. The ice is thinning out, as you could say. But yeah, like I was saying before, the TMNT movie that came out earlier this year, I thought it was pretty cool because it sort of looked like the um, Into the Spider-Verse Marvel films. And uh, I just really like those films too. What, what are you grabbing me for? Leave me alone, please. But uh, it'd be really cool. It just sort of gets me thinking about those movies and how cool it would be to have them added to Fall Guys. Honestly, a lot of Marvel stuff, I guess, hasn't made its way into Fall Guys at all, or DC. It'd be cool just to see more superhero stuff in general make its way pop up into this game. I'm sure it'd be pretty cool to see that, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. I think TMNT is Nickelodeon, if I'm not mistaken, so I don't know if it really shows if there's much of a chance of those kind of things being added, but you never know. Crazy stuff has been added to this game before. I'm sure it will in the future too. Okay, there we go. That was getting a little scary towards the end, but we do survive for another round. All right, so 
Let's go for it again. Round three of the thin ice. This time it is for the full win. Only one player can survive this one, but they get the trophy. So maybe we can make it happen. I'll have to wait and see. But I'll head around here. We'll just sort of walk around. And do what we can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lots of players all over the place. One does get eliminated though. There's a second one. They're starting to stack up a lot more. I just wanna stay on the outside of it a little bit like that. Maybe if we just take it slower. There's a lot of players getting lim eliminated. So we have time here. We don't have to go too crazy with it, but there's like a big barrier being broken over there. They can all go over there, that's fine with me. It's a lot less over there than there is over here, I think. All right, well, I guess you can say we're just chilling out over here. And if I really wanna speed it up, I can I see you walking over towards me. Don't think I just started playing this game yesterday. <laughs> if a player runs towards me when I'm on the edge of a slippery slope, I know they're trying to grab me. <laughs> All right. We'll stay over here then. There really is a big divide now. If we can, I got a strategy brewing here. If we can cut this player off, just like this. Ooh, okay, gotta be careful with it. But if we can find a way to cut this player off, we might be able to out-survive. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. There we go, there we go. I feel evil for doing this. Oh no, they caught on! Unfortunate, very unfortunate. It's just me and them now, basically. And I think one other player? Ooh, this is getting dicey. This is getting a little scary. I'll get over here. And try to clean all of this up, just like that. We gotta be careful, because there is a player way over there. I see them now. Oh no. Okay, oh no, they're doing that strategy to me. I don't know if there'll be enough space now to make it to that jump. I think it's my best bet though. Ooh, I tried, not quite gonna make it. That's heartbreaking, but it's okay. We tried our best there, it was still pretty fun. And we got two gold medals out of it. It's a little bit of something. If we play one more round, we'll finish up today's daily quest, so we might as well try to get that done. Right down this way, we'll do another Unexplored Adventures, just a solo show, one round. Let's see how it goes. Frosty run is around this time. Whoa, this is cool. I can't see anything, but whoa, we get super speed boosted. This is so fast. Oh man, keep it moving. Even faster, we're catching up. We're flying down there. I'm somehow gaining the lead. Whoa. And then I guess we turn down this corner a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And then we're getting the fan to push us over here. That's great. And then we're going up, up, up. Oh man. Okay, I'm going backwards. Not good. Um, Keep it moving, keep it moving. Just a little bit farther. Just a little bit farther, please. There you go, sort of. It's right there. It's right there. Come on, let me up. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, hey, thank you for the boost. <laughs> wow, um, I got almost really lucky there. Come on, come on, come on, it's so close. No, okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. I'm catching up again. I stole the lead again somehow. Wow, against all odds, we're back up with it. That was such a weird spot of it though. We just went so slow there. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, getting pushed off to the side. That's not what I wanted. Oh, so unfortunate, but we can catch up again right here. Oh, come on. Is that the end of it? Why am I rolling? Oh, what is that? Um, oh, we get a second place. It was so close to first, but it was still a very fun round. That was so cool. I just didn't know what to expect. I can't believe we were in the lead for so long, but still couldn't make the win happen at the final stretch. It's okay. All right, well, I guess we technically get a, a winner reward here because it was just top 10 qualified to the end of the round, so that's awesome. We made our way to the end. Because of that, we complete daily challenges, play any show, and we get 9,100 fame pass points. That is awesome. So we got plenty of rewards and plenty of action as both Master Splinter and Superfly. We unlock the Hibernate reward here. It's a faceplate, and we're almost at level 22 for this fame pass already. Lots of awesome progress being made all over the place. But that was the first of two TMNT bundles that have hit the shop recently, so we'll be checking out the second one, which has April O'Neil and the, uh, I guess, new victory emote here, the tubular transport. We'll check all of that out in the next episode of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.